Hello there wonderful people. The reverse page of wands is the card we're going to look at today. And here this page, well, you know, this is the page of fire. So it's the page of our connection to our wand, our intuition, our spiritual sense of purpose, our fire, our passion, our mutability, our transformational capabilities, and a little bit of our creative essence as well is all in that fire wand. And so, and that page represents, you know, this more childlike, innocent part of ourselves, this younger, more pure, more open part of ourselves, which connects us to this heart purpose and an intention for our lives. And so when this card is reversed, there are, there are different things that, that can be looked at. We can look at here this resistance to grab the wand, which sometimes is, is like a fear, uh, is a fear of grabbing the fire, is whole, of holding that, that, that passion, that purpose, that direction. And, and we might be experiencing um, a little bit of apathy in our lives. We might experience a little bit of fear of actually moving towards what might be a more purpose-driven life path. That can show up with this card being reversed. There is also, because it's a child card and we're all usually grown-ups looking at um, looking at the cards in this way this might represent some type of trauma with fire and and this fire represents kind of an aggression aggression story so there can easily be a history of um fiery aggressive trauma that makes us doubt and lack faith in that passionate aggression itself and so we might have or we might have a tendency to quell our fire to squash it and to and consequently feel lack of passion towards life and and to genuinely fear it because when it's turned up in our lives it's turned up in in maybe a traumatic experience and we don't trust that we don't trust passion because it looks like this we don't trust the fire of transformation because that type of transformation in the past wasn't always positive or it isn't, at least it didn't feel good for me and we remember those feelings we remember those experiences and so we might see the wand as something that's not we don't, we can't trust it and we might not be able to grab it as our own or we might as a child have had an experience or two which has taught us not to not to really embody and hold on to our own passion we might have had an experience where our our passion and our purpose was well caused us more conflict with those people in our environment people didn't respect it people didn't accept us who we are didn't accept what we were excited about and didn't accept our, our excitement in general and couldn't deal with it and tried to squash it in some way or another and that squashing is something that, that when then we learn to do to ourselves because it's safer to do that and there's so there's this childlike dynamic which we can see um, develops in a kind of general rejecting of the fire rejecting of the wand which has a consequence in our lives because we because that child inside of us understands the understand the unlimited potential that the wand represents for us and that that aspect of our consciousness represents the tapping into spirit the tapping into the light and and to the fire um really it's you know it's us tapping into and touching the magic of life and the magic of ourselves and if we don't believe in that or if we don't find that inner child again that that knows hey wow I am potentially superhuman in in the way we see though what that means because we all are potentially superhuman in that we can tap into much more creative abilities than we've ever understood ourselves to be able to that we can understand life and we can and we can 
work with the the laws of the world you know in a manipulating type creating dynamic not in a negative manipulative way but in a positive way of actually creating the world that we want to create with our passion with our focus and with with this childlike excitement and enthusiasm that really makes things move in life and so finding that childlike enthusiasm and excitement it's part of what this card is speaking about where's it gone you know is there a fear blocking us tapping into it is there a doubt that we have that makes us you know from our past that that has told us hey it's dangerous it's not safe safe to to really feel that because if there is then identify that and 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 let's work very consciously about removing that belief out of our of our out of our subconscious and and step in presenting different types of belief telling us hey how important this wand is how important our fire is how important our ability to grab this wand and make make a creative life for ourselves you know when all of the court of wands are upside down there's a little bit of ego arrogance that comes in and the the wand is very powerful in essence and so the ego grabs that power and says yes look how special i am and so all the reverse court of wands will will have this tendency to want to express their specialness or the the wand's power that they're wielding and that fire in a very sort of self-promoting i'm better than you type of way and and this is something that this child might be doing in some way or another or this child inside of us might be t- might have been taught to do in some way or another because it helped uh, it helped us and get the upper hand over whoever we needed to get the upper hand over when we were children and this is this is a valid thing to look at it becomes a habit it becomes a, a um and it's it's one way that the, the the ego identifies itself and it's one way that, that that our personality develops into more kind of narcissistic and egotistical um traits and, and we can be aware of those we can be aware of the, the fears that are behind that and we can be aware of the traumas that created those patterns and we can shift through them um so these are things that we need to be aware of there's there's also a tendency sometimes with this this one that, and if you have a look, um, not all the pages, but definitely this one is grabbing the wand with two hands. And this two-handed grabbing could be um, something that we're not doing. It could be that we're just yeah, half-heartedly, yeah, all right, yeah, of course, you know, this is why I'm here, this is my purpose, I can feel it, but, you know. And we're not really giving all of our attention to the fire, to that passion inside of us. We're not really feeling the the gift that it really is. We're saying, yeah, thanks very much. Nice wand and all that. I'll pick it up whenever I'm ready. Or, um, yeah, nice to know it's there, but, pff, you know, later. And there's this half-hearted sort of nonchalance that doesn't really embody this page this page's qualities of genuine, authentic, integrated enthusiasm for life. And let's find a little bit of that. So if there's a fear of aggression story, if there's a fear of getting excited, if there's a fear of getting enthusiastic about life because of these traumas in the past, let's go back and heal those stories. Um, All of the pages are asking us to heal these childhood programs, to revisit them and to... Um, and to move beyond the old fears that we may have um, unconsciously picked up and let's step into a more beautiful future and a potentially superhuman one. Have a fantastic day. Love to hear your comments. Love to hear what you think about um, the the videos that you're watching. And um, yeah, share a little bit of that light and that passion whenever you can have the opportunity.